welcome back to my channel. I have a really exciting announcement kind of thing that I, I just want to let you guys know of. And basically, I joined the Ipsy team, and I'm so excited. So many other girls have joined. You know what Ipsy is? It's like Michelle Fonz and all those other girls' monthly line of kind of like a little glam bag. That's what it used to be called. And just little sample size products they sign up for, and they send you products every month. There's always some full size things and some sample size things. And I'm just so excited that I finally joined Ipsy. And every single month, I'll be showing you guys like their monthly bag. Just so if you don't know if you want to buy it yet, I can just kind of show you the bag and kind of just a sneak peek of what it would look like. And if you're interested, then from there you can just sign up. And I'll have the sign up link down below. It's just really cool. Um, I before did like a review when it was called My Glam Bag, so I bought them myself before, um, and it was awesome, but now I'm finally a part of it, which is so exciting, and like I said, I'm just going to be showing you guys monthly bags today. I have here May's bag. I, it might be sold out. I'm not sure. I'll have the link down below. So definitely sign up and check it out, and you can send them for an email that they can send to you when it comes back in stock if it is sold out, but be sure as soon as soon the June bag is going to be coming out. They kind of do sell out quickly if you just register if you're not like signed up already because you sign up the monthly thing keeps going on so you like automatically get another bag but if you haven't signed up yet you, the first month sometimes signing up is a little bit hard because how quickly they sell out so be sure to sign up now so you can get an email when the June bag comes in stock if that's what you're interested in. And as part of the Ipsy team, I'll be going to Generation Beauty in LA on June 1st and 2nd. I'd love to see you guys there. And I'm actually giving away five tickets because I just really want maybe five more people to come then would come. It's going to be so much fun. I'll have information about it down below. Please, if you live in the LA area, come. I would love to meet you. It's going to be literally the most fun thing ever. So many gurus are going and I'm just so excited for it. So if you live in the LA area or if you can make it out there, it'd be awesome. Beyond awesome. And I'll have the sign up link down below. And like I said, I'll be giving away five tickets to go there, and what I want to do, I was going to do it in the comments down below, but I figured that that would be kind of hard, and like the entries get hard, people re-enter. So I just need to, um, I'm just going to have you tweet me, enter me with a hashtag, and I'll have the hashtag down here. I haven't thought of it yet, but I will, so I'll be right here, so with the hashtag, I'm going to select five winners in about, I want to say... A week from today, so next Monday, maybe earlier, I'll maybe I'll do five days, I'll say it right here how many days after I decide. So then you can go, that would be so awesome. So yeah, if you want to go, then definitely feel free, feel free to tweet me with the hashtag and enter me. But please only enter once, because I don't really want spam, and I don't want you guys to get spam, I don't want it just to be really annoying, and I get really annoyed with spam, so if you could just tweet once, everyone has a fair chance of winning, and that'd be great. Let's just get on started with the bag. This is what the May bag looked like. Every month it's like a little bag. If you watch, like I said, my, like, I forgot what month it was, I did like a kind of like the same kind of unboxing thing. I like the same size. Something different every month, so I'm just going to go and begin. The first thing was this thing, and I just took it out because, like, I just wanted you want to shove pack in it. And it's Pacifico's C Coconut Crushed Pearl Bronzing Body Butter Sun Kiss. It's like this color to kind of like a, like I said, like a bronzing color. It's a little bit darker, and it just smells like, oh, like, you know that self smell of, like, oil, like tanning oil, I love it. it smells like, it's like that smell, but not that intense with like more coconut in it, so it's like really vanilla sweet coconut, like, you know what I'm talking about, that scent that's just like sugary and sweet, like smells like a cupcake, this is what this smells like, and it's gonna be delicious for summer, just to put all over your arms, and it's sparkly too, it's like shimmery, oh my gosh. And here is a full size Zoya nail polish, and I'm actually getting my nails um, done next week before I head out for LA. And right now I like to have the same, still same claw nails. A lot of people like them, a lot of people don't. I like got really, they really grew on me, so I really do like them. But I'm getting my nails done again, and I'm thinking about doing this color or a hot pink. I'm still kind of deciding, so if you guys want to leave a comment, this is the color. I really wanted a whitish cream, so when I got this, I literally, my jaw dropped. I was like, they read my mind. They literally read my mind. I was literally thinking like, hmm, like I was like researching colors on Temptali. Like, what color, what's like a nice cream opaque white color? Because I was like, really just wanted that. Or because it would make me look tan. Or I wanted a hot pink because I got a hot pink on my toes and I was absolutely obsessed with it. So it's really in between. So let me know if you want me to do the creamish white, this color, or a hot pink in the comments down below. Anyway, the color is called Jacqueline. It's like a little bit shimmery. Like the slightest amount of shimmer. And then it's like a creamish white. It's literally... I know, know people don't like when you describe nail polishes as pretty. But I really like this color. It's just like I said, like a creamish nude color and I really really like it. So I think I'm gonna get this one done just because I feel like it'll look really good on my nails. So yeah, this is what it is. Next thing is really cool. Really cool. No one does anyone even say the word like cool like in a legitimate term anymore. I feel like people say like cool it's just like sarcastic. It's like oh cool. But does anyone ever say like cool? Like that's so cool. I don't know, is that a thing? Do people still say that? Am I just like 
not in the know of slang. Anyway, you guys know I did a video with Numi uh, on like the curling, the bombshell waves a couple weeks ago, I think maybe two weeks ago, on like how to do the big waves because I was obsessed with those. Anyway, this is also by Numi. It's a finishing serum. Finishing serum and it comes with a dropper like I've been trying to demonstrate here. Oh my god, it has so much in it. It's just like oil. Wow, that was just disgusting. <laughs> but what I do with it after the shower, I um, just put it in my end sometimes. Sometimes I just put it right here because, like, this is the part people notice, like, the top layer of your hair, how shiny it is. If you noticed in my um, last video, my one talking about the outfit of the day, I have my little spring outfit of the day. My hair is kind of shiny. A lot of people notice, and I use this in it because I just like the, the kind of giving it, like, a top coat, if you know what I mean. Kind of like when you give your car a gloss coat, you know? It's kind of like the same thing for your hair. And also, what I like to do is, um, before I straighten my hair when it's still kind of like frizzy and poofy whatever like like I just like a shower like but it's dry then I just kind of put it in my ends and when I when I straighten through it I just feel like it adds like shine when I straighten through through the oil it's true but I do add it to my ends just to keep them healthy and I really do like it and I'm definitely thinking about buying the full size product when I'm done but since you do use so little of this because you don't really want your hair to be greasy you don't want to like take oil and be like like you don't want to do that. I feel like it's going to last a really long time. Like I've used it for like two weeks I think and it's it's only like down to the right like right. He is also this month's bag was also honestly awesome to say the least. I don't know why like I literally loved every product. Sometimes you like only like a couple things. This month I literally kind of loved every single thing in here which is I don't know which is like kind of crazy because usually there's like one thing that you're like eh it's okay but like literally this everything I liked and it's this lipstick by Mirabella. It's, it says the name. It's called Posey. You know, keeping things in their boxes. And it's what it looks like. And it's a red lipstick. And, like, whenever, like, you get a lipstick in, like, a, any type of, like, monthly bag, birch box, whatever, you're like, oh, I hope it's a good color. And I usually get really bad colors. I get, like, just colors that I wouldn't wear. My main favorite color to wear, you know, I've been wearing, like, red lip gloss with a lot in my couple of past videos. And I've been wearing, like, nude, light, nudie light pink. Those are, like, my two favorites right now. So when I said this was red lipstick, it honestly made me so happy because I was, like, Yes, another red. And I filmed a video called What's in My Gym Bag and I was wearing this. It hasn't uploaded yet, but when it does upload, if you're going to wonder what lipstick I'm wearing, it's this one. And you'll see in the video it looks really good. It's kind of sheer. Not, not like, it's not sheer, but it's not, like, if you may have ever seen Max Ruby Woo, you swatch it once in your hand and it's like this, like, insanely pigmented, crazy red matte color. This is, like, really glossy. A little bit lighter than an intense bloody red. It's a little bit like, it's called rosy, so it's a little bit, like I said, rosier. It's kind of more like a hot pink with some like red in it, I guess, and more of a, like, an intense red, but I really do love it. And it's just really smooth. It kind of applies like, it feels like a lip balm, but it's pigmented to like a lipstick. So it's kind of something I really like. Yeah, B. And it comes like this little thing, so I kind of have to keep it in here and just open it like this. It's a concealer. I've used it under my eyes. It's in the color Buff. It's, it's like it's like a little like thing so if you have like a magnetic palette you can just definitely put it in your magnetic palette I have a little I just said palette palette and it's just a lot more convenient than to have and if you don't you can just keep like this but I'd recommend getting a little magnetic like what's called the Z palettes or something so anyway it's really really creamy and I've been like literally look how creamy it is I just touched that and it's like cream it's just so creamy so smooth I use it under my eye because I like how it brightens them it's so creepy that I'm like literally taking it off my hand because that's how like intense it is. And it's really, really pigmented and really bright. So you have to really blend it out. But literally, it makes me look so like in the morning. I also put it right under my eyebrows and like right my forehead because I don't look like, like putting shimmer on my forehead. Because I used to do that and it kind of made it really... I used to made it really shimmery, so I'd rather put like a kind of a concealer on and put a powder over it so it's not as intensely noticeable. But literally, this has been such a good concealer, and I really wish I had it in like a liquid form because I love putting on like liquid concealer. But this is just so smooth and creamy, and I just mainly use it under my eyes because I'm kind of darker than this color, so it's a good like under eye brightener color. So, buff for me is like my under eye color. I definitely want to get it in like my actual skin shade color to use like as a my like pimple kind of cover up if that makes sense so yeah but looks like this and I definitely need to put this in a Z palette. There's a little card with a bunch of discount code Spring Fling if you can case you like any of the products it's like 60% off new me, 30% off that oil, like 20% off it's ancient probably just it depends on what products you got in your monthly bag but it has a bunch of discounts so in case you're just from the product you can get it with a discount which is literally awesome and I really love Chevron so I really like this print I think I'm gonna use this for, as like a pencil case or a little maybe like a travel makeup bag so the bags are awesome because you get like one every month so by the year you'll have like 12 it'll be awesome anyway 
I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I really 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 hope that I can meet some of you at Generation Beauty. That would literally be awesome. Like I'm so excited. Like if you live in the LA area, you better be coming. I don't care what you have to do if you have your dog's birthday, you're gonna have to skip that because you need to come and we need to meet. So thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to tweet me with the hashtag and I will talk to you guys later. Bye. <laughs>